Hello, this is Jay Camera here, and today we'll be taking a look at Lego Batman, a Lego Batman set from 2006. This one is numbered 7782, named the Batwing Joker's Aerial Assault, ages 8 to 12. This originally cost $50 in US money when it first came out, um, which probably would have been something like 75 in my country's money. But um, good luck getting that nowadays because this is very expensive, especially brand spanking new, so good luck. And I'm lucky enough to get it brand new. That's right. I got this brand spanking new. It cost a lot of money, and I'm not, I don't even remember how much it did cost, but um, here it is. So I actually got to have the full experience this time, like getting the stickers on and the original bags and everything. So let's take a look at the box. Um, here's the front of it. You can actually feel everything, like the textures of everything and all that. Um, it shows the stand because it doesn't fit in with the rest. The barcode here. Um, the minifigures, which I'll get to later, but there's three of them with at least one accessory each. And then um, here is just another pose. Um, have I looked here? That's exactly the same as this side. And then here's the most interesting part, we get the features of the Batwing with the missile and missiles and wings and everything in a cockpit. Um, Joker's helicopter, some with the windshield, rope ladder, the bombs, propellers and all that. And here's the accessory pack with the gun, Tommy gun, three batarangs, two spinning batarangs, or remote control batarangs. Or special batarangs, whatever you want them to be. And then the handcuffs. And then here's her Lego advertisement thing. And then here's the sets, which I'll get to later when I get to the instructions. And here's the comic with Joker's helicopter firing Joker bombs high in the sky in Gotham City. It alerts Batman in the Batcave, who was unmasked with a hairpiece. Um, goes on to the Batwing and fights. Joker and his henchmen drop as the helicopter gets destroyed by the Batwing's missile. You can see right there Killer Croc in a harbor ready to probably eat them, which is accurate to Batman lore and all that. Um, and I've already opened it. Instead of being taped for me from eBay, I actually opened it myself using these and then ripping it out. So, and I've actually kept this box for like two days, so, yeah. Now, um, this is a really big set, well, not that big, but it is kind of big, I guess. Because it, it takes up the entire desk, and I could barely fit all this on my desk, so, yeah, if I do get sets bigger than this, then I'm gonna worry. Anyway, the instructions, um, starts with the minifigures, and then the helicopter, um, and then at this point you get one of the buildable accessories for Joker with the handgun, well not handgun, the flag gun, and then you get the bombs, and then we get to the bat wing. Um, then you get to the Batwing stand, then here's the gimmicks and play features for the Batwing, and then the copter, and then we got the alt alternate builds, which, this one has a really cool background, but the build itself is kind of boring. I do like this one though, out of all the sets of Lego Batman, this one by far has the best alternate build. I don't really like the plane for Batman very much, but I do like this like Joker layer, like a harbour or something with a flag, um, ladder, some fan and whatever. Um, get the peace guide, um, some of these pieces are really rare, 
which I'll point to later, and they might even be exclusive. Okay, here's the sets, um, I'll get to this at the very end of the video, actually, so. The wind stuff, Lego Club, and then at the back shows the Batwing on its stand with Batman, which looks... Batman looks very grey, darker than usual. Like, he looks more like a dark grey than a light grey. In fact, he looks a bit like a knockoff minifig. So, there's the instructions. Um, I don't know where to put this, so... Um, I'll just plop it over there. I want to be gentle with this, because it's brand spanking new, and it's the first, and maybe even only Batman set that I do get that is brand spanking new. Um, I did come with this sh sticker sheet, and... It only had one, but um, these red ones were for the flag. These ovals are the bat logos on the bat wing. This was for that too. The rest of them were for the helicopter, including these things. Um, yeah. Now I can finally scrunch this up. Um, and I have some spare pieces too. Um, I did have a spare red piece of a Batmobile set. To, um, you get a couple of Technic pieces in black and light grey. This piece. This, which I don't remember using at all, and I don't know why it's here, because I've searched for that and it's not there. Here's this, another Technic thing. This thing, which is very common for the ladders. In fact, um, I need that for something I'm trying to work on. And this thing, I might work for, like, Joker's Flower or something, or... Green Goop, it might be useful, but... Um... There's them aside. Now let's take a look at the minifigures. Here is Batman. The one from the Batman video game. Which, that game is really what got me into Batman in the first place. And that game is very nostalgic. And it helps with the nostalgia of these sets, too. Um... Yeah, it's very light grey, unlike, um, the, um, instructions and box where it looks a bit dark grey, um. And this is the last set that I'm reviewing that has it, so I finally have each version of a specific rendition of Batman, which is supposed to be based on, I think, the new adventures of Batman and Robin from the late 90s, which was the kin the continuation of Batman the Animated Series, but this one m more looks like the Arkham Asylum and Arkham City version, if you ask me. Maybe it's just me, but... Um, the cape I did change by choice because the soft ones are better. Um, the face isn't really anything special. Um, there's no back printing or leg printing or anything, but it's fine for a cool figure, so... I've already talked about this one a lot, so, yeah, seen that, done that, that's basically what it is, so, go watch my Bat Boat set and Dragster set reviews for more details on my opinion on the minifigure. The Batmobile one, I know I've already reviewed it, but that one had a different Batman, in case you are wondering. Next up is probably the weakest minifigure of the bunch. And by that, I mean, like, it's the worst, even though it's not bad, is the Joker's henchman. There's only one of these in a set, which makes sense, but I, I don't know. I kind of wanted to see a few more, because I like building armies. Um, to be fair, this is just an extra, basically. You don't really need it. You can take it out of the set if you really want to. Um... But I'm fine with it being plain, because these type of characters are usually boring. Now, um, I do ha have two versions of the Two-Face Henchman and one Mr. Freeze Henchman. The Two-Face Henchman, one of them, I have in this box right here. So I can compare it, but I won't now. I'll probably save it for another time, but... This one is just plain purple. Kind of boring, though. It's a good enough minifigure. 
Oh yes, and I will admit, I kind of want to see something better too. Now we get into the movie figure that's easily the best, and the pro probably the biggest draw is the Joker. Um, first appearance of him in set, even though he, as well as the henchman, is not exclusive, he also appears in the Tumblr set, the final of the original sets. Um, this minifigure has the classic vampire hair and wolverine hair also in the green. Um, and then the face, which the Tumblr has a slightly different one where the lines are thicker. If I can focus. Um, this one's just classic Joker, like from the animated series. And the Mark Hamill version, voiced by Luke Skywalker. Um, the thicker one is supposed to be with the Dark Knight version, played by Heath Ledger. This one is very much, like, on point with the animated series. I'd probably say it's better, because... The purple on that suit looked very pink to me. This one is an actual purple to me, so good. Next, let's take a look at the accessories. Let's start with the boring accessories with these three batarangs. Seen them, done that. They're just the handheld ones. You can maybe consider them but like bat blades or whatever you want them, but they're really supposed to be batarangs handheld. They're still used today, I have a buckload of these things, so I wouldn't mind if these don't appear in a set, because I have plenty, but it's cool to have them, um, yeah. Now I, oh, I get a bigger collection. Now we get these spinning ones, which are retired pieces. Um, these are ones actually really shiny, I know exactly why, because there's no dust on them, but still. Um, more of these would be fine by me, because... Um, outside of these Lego Batman sets, old ones, I don't have any. Um, and then these handcuffs so you can hold captive the henchman, or you can do it for the Joker. Um, let's see what he looks like with these on, actually. Um, there. There he is with those handcuffs. Um, pretty easy to put on. Um, long, um, I think the black on him, it really contrasts well. Whilst with, say, Killer Croc and Two-Face, and especially Catwoman, it looks kind of natural. With characters that are more colourful, it really pops out more. Which is why I prefer the old ones m more than the new ones. Um, the new ones are much more common, though, and outside of these Batman sets, I don't know if any set in history has these old ones. And the final two are this machine or Tommy gun. I'm probably getting it wrong. Um, I don't know what the name of it is, though. And here is just a regular handgun. Joker uses two of these in the video game for, like, if you play as him, which is interesting. Now let's get to the special accessories that only appear in this set that are made for the Joker, actually. Let's start with, personally, the most boring, this gag gun. Um, this is just a microphone piece. Is it a microphone piece? I don't know what's called, but... Um, you, you see these a lot in the old Star Wars sets for, like, stormtroopers and all that. There's this white pole and then this flag piece which had two stickers back to back with a white explosion saying bang. Cool to have them, it makes sense. Um, with the red and white and black, it contrasts well. Next we have two Joker bombs in yellowish green neon translucent with grinning faces as supposed to represent the Joker. Now I should mention that in the box it shows that the heads are actually the Joker's heads for some reason. I really do not know how they screwed that up. I like to think that they're just being lazy. Also there's like four in one frame or something when we only get two. Also the back case set has one of these and 
I've seen a minifigure before with this exact head. I've actually always wanted that minifigure. Correct me in the comments below for the name. If you've seen a minifigure with this head on that's actually real, please let me know. So we get two of them, and these two actually have a purpose for the Joker's helicopter later. And finally, and the, by far the most exciting for me, is the Joker's playing card or lucky card. Um, I think it's exclusive to the set. Um, with two J's there, supposedly like the Joker. And then a face with black makeup, and then the greenish jester hat, and everything with yellow balls and everything. Um, the uh, Bat Cycle set in 2008 with Harley Quinn had a sticker piece that was supposed to be that, but that's not the same for me. Now we get into the vehicles, um, let's start with the villain vehicle, um, this one is pretty big. Um, let's start with what it can do. It can rotate this, which, this piece here is actually rare or exclusive, I'm not really sure, cause, yeah, I'm too lazy to research myself. Um, there's one back here that can also do it. Um, the Joker, well, the, the Red Jays are there, um, back to back, not really, but, um, there's this windshield that can move, which also houses room for two, so, if I just get these mini figures, just put them on there, and they only sit on two studs, and not four, so, just sit them both in here nicely. Now there's room for two and there's no control so Joker's a bit unprepared or random. Um, also, um, in many sightings on eBay the card for some reason is up here which I really don't know why. I know they don't want to lose it but seriously that's not the spot I would hide it. I would just go wherever you would hide the accessories because that's really what it is. Um, and thankfully this cockpit actually stores it well. Um, these actually are a great landing thing. Um, I should also mention that there's a sticker below here, which in a box it actually doesn't have that one for some reason. Um, there's two Joker stickers there, um, yeah, that's all the st Is it all the stickers? Um... Oh yes, and there's these here. Um, I wish it didn't have stickers, but okay. You get these guns. Um, there's two of these. You pull them by the green gooey stud. And then you can just rotate them however you want. Like, you can make them do it like this and fire. Um, you can also load them back in just fine so there um now for the rope ladder um it has this spotlight and this piece here i if i can get it out um this one is actually an extra piece but i left it in there so i'll actually um point it out later but um, you can act. there's nine, um, Technic pins or whatever on these rope pieces, which I actually don't have. And you can, like, have the Joker fall to his death, which is accurate to, like, the 1989 movie, which this set is kind of similar. Um, I'll just take this off for now, because it takes up quite a bit of room. Now, back here, you can actually store these bombs that I showed you earlier. Um... Push that, um, thing in. And then, um, I don't think you can see me with this, but... Um, you're supposed to pull this, and the bombs will release. Now, be careful, because you don't want to lose them. Like that. 
Um, okay. Um, also, those guns I showed you earlier fold into something like this. And now, if I can show you, here's what happens to the bombs. So, when you release it like this, this happens. Okay. So, those are those heads. Now let's get into the bat wing. This thing is ginormous. It's huge. Like, yeah. Um, now this takes even more room when it's like this. Um, posability, it can move these. Um, I'm gonna keep it like this. Um, there's a cockpit here where you can store some of the accessories, so if I just, um, there, do that, um, this goes in just fine, you do have to take off Batman's cap like most of the vehicles in the line, but I'm not going to put them in right now. Um, you got this. Um, you have this, which... Um, um, let me just flatten these for now. Um, if you, like, push it up down a certain point, it will go up and fire. Um, it hit me in the face once. Um, it was actually kind of soft for some reason. Maybe it's just me, but probably because it really is supposed to hurt on the eyes, but still. Um, I was disappointed when there was, like, no clinches here, like there was in the anime series, and a Kenner toy in 1989. Um, two bat logos, um, a few lights, and you can move these as well, and you can have this up as much as you want it, but I'll have it only... Like one, and then back here there's these that you can pull, and then, um, um, there, and here's your ultimate Batwing. Really huge, actually. I think this is the main reason people want to get it, so they can experience just how huge this abomination is. In the nicest way possible, of course. Um, now, the only problem I really have is the other side is very grey. And it's not pleasant to look at. It's like they didn't even think at all. If maybe they replaced them with black pieces or covered it up, it looks like it's only been half done, actually. But, um... This one looks good too, nothing I really want to say about it, um... Here's the Batwing stand, which doesn't come in the back cave set, which is good because it makes that one smaller, and you can collect them all so you can get a bigger bat cave and Batman arsenal and shrine. Get a couple of lights, um, a bit of dark grey rock formation, and then this stuff here, which is a big piece that I don't have in my collection, and you can probably connect this to the back cave. Hopefully, I'm not entirely sure, but there's this rope ladder in two pieces. And um, actually, before I get into what it looks like on the stand, I should mention that um, the one gimmick um, um, the rope ladder on here um. If I move everything out of the way. Um, if you put this on, you cannot perform this properly. Just so you know. Um, now, you cannot do this in one hand, but um, you're supposed to fire it at this green thing here. And um, um, let's just say this actually does hit, um, which it... As we all know, it didn't, but let's just pretend it did, mostly because, um, and then, um, I'm gonna drop it on the floor, um, 
in order to perform it properly. Um, this goes down like this, and a rope goes down, and the Joker drowns and dies, and maybe gets eaten by Killer Croc if he's really unlucky. Or sharks. Okay, so, the final thing I want to show you, actually, before that, um, I really like this, even though it's kind of plain and boring. I am fine with that, because it's not really supposed to. Um, I really glad that they did because they made the back cave bigger and also to get a taste on the next set that's coming up because that was the very next set that followed and it stores and it saves up so much room on your shelf um and this is what it looks like so if you can see um you have to put it in right there and once you get to these black pieces like once these trans red pieces cannot go hit there well once they do they cannot go any further down um and now i should mention that when i put this on my shelf this it was exactly the size so it's bail it's really roughly the same height and well as a section of the shelf that i put it in where i put the rest of my lego batman sets um just in case you're wondering how tall it is, and, um, how do I describe the height of it? It can fit an entire earth globe in here. Um, I'll go grab, actually I won't grab one out, but one of them can fit in here. A money tin can fit in there. A teddy bear can fit in here. Um... Yeah, a lot of things can, so, yeah, that shows how big it is, so. So there you have it. That is the review of the LEGO Batman Batwing set. The set gets an 8.9 out of 10. Um, the problems being the underside of the Batwing, the, um, no bad print, the no, the bad cape, and boring expression of Batman, the henchman movie is kind of boring too, and um, I think that's really about it, but um, yeah, the set gets an 8.9 out of 10, one of my favourite sets from the theme, I'd say aside from Arkham Asylum and the Batcave, this is the best, the Batmobile is a close second though. By the way, here are the sets. Um, the Dragster set was the first one I reviewed in 2019. Then, over a year later, I got the Batboat set. Um, then this one. Um, I have all three of these, and now I have this one. So, this page I have, so I have the first four sets of the theme. Next up for reviewing for Batman should be this one, though I cannot promise. And also, um... This might be the very last one for Batman I review because this one is the hardest to get and good luck getting it, seriously. So, yeah. I might even lose and, like, not get these sets in order anymore and just go random. But, yeah. I can't promise that I will continue, though I want to continue. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all Peace out. Bow, bow, bow.